Okay class, welcome back to Chemistry Form 4. Today we are learning a new chapter, Chapter 3. The mole concept, chemical formula and equation. Okay, so today we will cover the first subtopic 3.1, relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass. In Matthew 7 verse 1, do not judge so that you will not be judged. Matthew 7 verse 1. So, at the end of the lesson, you are able to conceptualize the relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass based on the carbon-12 scale and also able to calculate the relative molecular mass and relative formula mass. Alright, so what is relative atomic mass and also relative molecular mass? Okay, chemists use the concept of relative atomic mass by comparing the mass of atom of an element to the mass of atom of another element that is chosen as standard. Therefore, we do not need to know the actual mass of the atom. Okay, so relative atomic mass ini adalah dia punya comparison. Okay, the mass of one atom of one unsur, one element, to the mass of another atom of another element yang dipilih sebagai standard. For example here, figure 3.1, the mass of carbon atom is compared to the, the mass of the hydrogen atom. Okay? Initially, the hydrogen atom was used as the standard atom because it is the lightest atom. Okay. Okay, mula-mula, hydrogen atom yang digunakan untuk sebagai standard lah. Supaya, uh, sebagai standard untuk comparison, the mass among the other element lah kan. Sebab dia memang paling ringan. Okay. Masses of atoms of all other elements were compared with hydrogen atom. For example, one carbon atom is as heavy as 12 hydrogen atom. Ha, ini. Satu carbon atom adalah sama. Dia punya berat lah dengan 12 hydrogen atom. So, here the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12, while the relative atomic mass of hydrogen is assigned as 1, okay, as shown in, in this figure, figure 3.1. So, mula-mula kita guna, dulu-dulu dia guna hydrogen dahulu untuk comparison. However, in 1961, the chemists across the world agreed to use carbon-12 atom as the standard atom after finding that the usage of the hydrogen atom as the standard atom encountered various problems. So, oleh kerana dia punya um, yang ini, hydrogen sebagai standard perbandingan uh, mempunyai masalah, various problems. So, apa yang terjadi adalah ahli-ahli kimia around the world, dia bersetuju untuk menggunakan Carbon-12 atom sebagai standard. Okay, standard of comparison. So, the relative atomic mass RAM of an element is defined as the average mass of an atom of the element compared to 1 over 12 of the mass of one carbon-12 atom. Okay, so ini adalah yang kamu kena ingat lah. Relative atomic mass itu, relative atomic mass sesuatu unsur itu adalah the average mass of one atom of the element bahagi compared to 1 per 12 mass 1 carbon 12 atom. Okay? Contoh. <coughs> Contohnya, contohnya di sini, 
figure 3.2 relative atomic mass of helium so satu atom helium bersamaan dengan 4 units so the relative atomic mass of helium is 4 this mean that the average mass of one atom of helium is 4 times the mass of 1 over 12 of carbon 12 atom okay so carbon 12 is chosen as the standard because it is solid at room temperature okay so can be handled handled easily carbon 12 also combine easily with other element okay therefore carbon 12 is found in most substance so senang untuk dijumpai okay although carbon has three isotopes carbon 12 is the major isotopes so abundance dia adalah 99% so sebab itu kita guna carbon 12 sebagai standard so the relative atomic mass of carbon 12 is 12 okay jadi kalau relative atomic mass of carbon 12 adalah 12 Okay, maka contohnya di sini, contohnya di sini, okay, contoh, 1 per 12 darab, the mass of one carbon 12 atom is 12, betul? Kalau di sini kita letak 12, so 1 per 12 darab 12, berapa? Sah? 1, betul kan? 1 kan? 1 per 12 darab 12, jawapan dia di bawah ini 1. Okay, satu. Jadi, kalau average mass of one atom of the element. Kalau helium tadi, contoh helium tadi empat. The average mass dia empat. So, empat bahagi satu, dia punya relative atomic mass of the helium is empat lah. Okay? Boleh ya? Okay. Apa pula itu relative molecular mass? Relative molecular mass adalah RMM. Okay? We can compare the relative molecular mass of a substance with the standard carbon-12 atom. The relative molecular mass RMM of a molecule is the average mass of the molecule. Oh, kali ini molecule, tadi atom kan? So, ini adalah satu molecule. The average mass of one molecule compared to one over 12, the mass of one carbon-12 atom. The mass of one carbon-12 atom is 12. Okay? 12. Okay? Di sini adalah molekul. Yang tadi itu adalah atom. Kalau RAM itu untuk satu atom sahaja. Kalau RMM molekul, so untuk molekul. For example, satu molekul water. Water dia ada formula dia ialah H2O. So dia ada adalah molekul. Okay, for example. The relative molecular mass of a molecule can be calculated by adding up the relative atomic masses of all atom. Okay. So, relative RMM, relative molecular mass, kita dapat dengan cara menambah semua RAM, relative atomic mass, semua atom dalam satu molecul. Contoh, oxygen gas. Kalau saya sebut oxygen, O, O sahaja, O, itu maksudnya satu atom. Tapi kalau oksigen gas, O2, so ada lebih daripada satu atom sudah. Yang itu adalah molekul. Okay, molekul sudah. Jadi, kalau O2 merujuk kepada RMM, Relative Molecular Mass. Faham? Ha? Molekul adalah gabungan lebih daripada satu atom. Okay, so di sini ini adalah contoh molekul. Okay. So, macam mana kita mau cari relative molecular mass of oxygen gas? Okay. Relative atomic mass of oxygen, contohnya, diberi relative atomic mass of oxygen adalah 16. Itu untuk satu atom. Oleh kerana di sini ada dua atom, so kita darab dua. Dua darab 16, 32. So, the RMM of oxygen gas adalah 32. Okay, RMM ah. How about RMM of water? Water is a molecule, H2O. 
ada berapa item di sini? H ada dua item, O ada satu item. Jumlah item di sini adalah tiga item. Dan ini adalah molekul air. Water molecule. In water molecule, we have three atoms. Two atoms, hydrogen atom, one oxygen atom. Faham? Ah? So, how we calculate the RMM of water molecule? So, dua ini kita darab dengan RAM, Relative Atomic Mass of Hydrogen, iaitu satu. Jangan risau, ah. yang ini akan diberi. Ah. Jangan risau. The Relative Atomic Mass of Hydrogen adalah satu. Kita ada dua atom hydrogen, so kita darab dua. Dua darab satu. Faham? Ah? Kemudian, the relative atomic mass of oxygen. Oxygen ada satu sahaja. Uh, is 16. So, 16. So, we plus the RAM. We add up the RAM and the RAM here. So, 2 tambah 16, jumlah dia 18. So, the RMM of water molecule is 18. Okay? So, remember, relative molecular mass ini adalah adding up all the RAM of the all the atom in one molecule. Okay? Example. Calculate the relative molecular mass of glucose. This is glucose C, C6H12O6. So, ini adalah molecule. Betul kan? Molecule. Because we have how many atom? Carbon atom ada 6. Hydrogen atom ada 12. Oxygen atom ada 6. So, this is molecule. Okay, molecule. So, given the relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 and carbon is 12 and oxygen is 16. So, calculate the RMM of glucose. So, we calculate the RMM of glucose by adding up all the RAM of every atom in the molecule of glucose. So, here, the carbon. We have 6 atom of carbon. So, 6 times the RAM of carbon. RAM of carbon is 12. So, 6 times 12. And then, plus hydrogen. We have 12 atoms of hydrogen. So, 12 times the RAM of hydrogen here is 1. So, 12 times 1. Okay? Plus, again, oxygen. We have 6 atoms of oxygen. So, 6 times the RAM of oxygen is 16. Okay, so we times 6 times 16. We add up all this. So this one 72, this one 12, this one 96. So tambah semua, we dapat 1 at 0. 180 is the relative molecular mass of glucose. Boleh ya? Okay. And then, relative formula mass RFM. The concept of relative mass is also used for ionic substance. Yang tadi itu kita bincang pasal RAM for atom, RMM for molecule. And for ion, kita panggil dia sebagai RFM, relative formula mass. Okay? So the relative mass of an ionic substance is called as relative formula mass RFM. The relative formula mass is calculated by Summing up the relative atomic masses of all the atoms shown in the formula of the ionic substance. This is because the mass of an ion does not differ much from the mass of its atom. Okay, that forms the ion. So we check the example number 2. Calculate the relative formula mass of zinc chloride. Zinc chloride, the formula is ZnCl2. Okay, ZnCl2. Zinc chloride. Okay, and aluminium sulfate, Al, Al2SO43. Aluminium sulfate. So, don't worry about this formula. Ah. Formula for zinc chloride, formula for aluminium sulfate. sulfate. So, this one, we will learn it in next, next subtopic. Okay. Okay. Given the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16, aluminium 27, sulfur is 32, chlorine is 35.5, zinc is 65. So, we want to calculate the RFM. 
Okay, relative formula mass of a zinc chloride and also aluminium sulfate. The first one, RFM of zinc chloride ZNCl2. Okay, you just add up. Add up only the RAM of zinc. Zn here, zinc. Zinc is 65. So, 65 plus, okay, plus. We have chlorine. Chlorine, dia ada dua. So, 2 times the RAM of chlorine. Chlorine is 35.5 here. Times only, get 70, 71 and then you add up this one this is the RFM of zinc chloride tambah sahaja ok, tambah sahaja macam itu RMM juga ok, cuma ini adalah ion ion sub, ionic substance lah ok, nanti kamu akan belajar juga pasal ionic substance ok, the RFM of aluminium sulfate AL kita ada dua so, 2 darab dengan RAM of the aluminium here is 27. So, 2 times 27, 54 lah. And then, tambah, tambah, okay, di sini, SO4. SO4. S ada 1. So, RAM of S. Berapa RAM of S? 32. So, here 32. O ada 4. So, we plus with 4 times RAM of oxygen 16. So, times 16 here. Tetapi, di sini ada kurungan. Ada, ada bracket di sini. Ada 3. Meaning, yang ini kena darab lagi dengan 3. Okay, yang ini kita darab lagi dengan 3. Sebab ada 3 ni. Kurungan di sini maksudnya darab. Semua yang di dalam kena darab dengan 3. Faham ah? So, we get 3 times 96. Plus 54 here. So, 342. 342 is the RFM of aluminium. Aluminium sulfate. Okay? Boleh? So, itu sahaja untuk hari ini. Okay? So, please do your assignment given lah. Alright? Okay, once again, Matthew 7 verse 1. Do not judge so that you will not be judged. Okay? Matthew 7 verse 1. Thank you.